Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we have another unbagging. So let's see who this is from. Well, we have a diamond painting and a cross stitch. And another little pack and another little pack so let me get this over here this is from paint some way and let's see start with the uh, tool if you will so I saw this bag and I wanted to see how good of quality it was And it's kind of slickery and it's very long let me see I'll measure it here just so you got some idea of how long it is if I can get it to lay down it is 23 and almost 23 and a half or 59 almost 60 centimeters long and 22 and a half centimeters or eight and a three quarters now these bags they call it a dust bag was this one was 2.99 so and I figure let's use this bag for reference I could fit that whole diamond painting in this bag and it's probably uh, 60 centimeters long and there's a little bit at the top but it seems to be kind of waterproof if you will now I don't know that it is or it isn't and it has a nice little drawstring so you can draw it up and then it has one of these things like you'd get on a ski jacket. You push it down and you push it down and pull it and it stays shut. So you could put your cross stitch, your diamond painting, just whatever you really wanted to. Heck, if you didn't have much laundry, you could put your laundry in it and take it to the laundromat. Now, that wouldn't work for me, but... You know, if you were just going to wash one small batch of something. Or, say you went to the beach and you rolled up your towel with all your stuff inside of it. It would fit in there. So, yeah. And it's pretty sturdy and heavy. I don't see it breaking. This does not tear or move or stretch. So, yeah. I just thought it was kind of different. You know, not that I go too many places where I take my cross stitch or my diamond painting. But, you know, you could use it wherever. So, I thought it was kind of a novelty thing. Then, we'll get out the little diamond painting stuff. And I bought these for Christmas. These were... Hang on. Were... Oh, I didn't write it down. They, I think they were under $5. I'm not real sure. But they're little Christmas ornaments. Comes with your beads. Comes with a plate. I mean, a tray, wax, a few um, plastic baggies, and a pin. And it comes with a little wad of gold to use to hang them up with. I don't... Let me see. I didn't know if they were single. No, they're not. But, yeah, it's nice that they put the ribbon or whatever. You could use whatever you wanted. You didn't have to use those. In fact, I think this is kind of overkill. It's kind of big for these. Because, I'll show you in here in a second. Let me get it open. There are eight in here. And they're single-sided, but they're just 
paper. And they're very thin, so that's why I said this was overkill. If you had some ribbon like you'd wrap up a Christmas present with, it'd probably work a lot better. But you have a little gnome. He's got a little heart. And you got another gnome. Oh, they're all they're all gnomes. Okay. And he's got a little stocking. Then you have one, two, three, three that are Halloween. So he's got, looks like a pot of bubbling cauldron. This one's got a pumpkin and this one's got a broom. And then you have another Christmas guy with like, um, what do you call it? Christmas lights in his hand. And then you have, let me, these four. You could set them up. you know, like against something and then put a little bow on them or something. But it spells out the word. You can't see it. I'm sorry. Over shift. There we go. It says love. So, yeah. Kind of cool. I thought it'd be something fun to do at Christmas with the grandkids to keep them occupied. Let's look at the drills. So this whole package of drills is enough to do all eight of them. It's the way it comes. I got some different ones last year, but I like the gnomes. So you got red, silver, then kind of a amber color, if you will. And then you have orange. And you have kind of a gray and then you got a little black. These are regular, not um, like rhinestone. And green in two separate colors. You have two silver hearts. You have some yellow iridescent buttons. And some tiny stars that are silver. And then you have two gold stars and two little red buttons so yeah I thought why not and so I know this kit was no more than five dollars I think that would be pushing it but um, and you can get them in paper you can get them in like uh, oh heck we're not gonna make that in uh, plex what is that word plexiglass I was trying to get them all into one bag so that, you know, you'd think that I could learn it and remember to get, save a bigger, a little bit bigger bag, like the bag that the thread comes in. But yeah, it's just a quick little project here. Oh, the hell with it. We'll just put this over here so they don't, since they're only made of paper, I don't want to try to force it. Yeah, so nice. The kids will love it. And if you got grandkids and you're stuck and you're waiting on dinner and all that to be uh, fixed, it's a nice, quick little project they can do well to keep them occupied before dinner. Oh, of course not. So let's look at the diamond painting. We're getting there. We're getting there. It kind of got mooshed at one end. Let me. I see now. These are the bags that they should ship all diamond paintings in. They're so nice, and then I can write on the outside what it is, and yeah, go from there. Let's get the the drills and everything else out. There are the drills. You get a plate, a boat, wax, and a pen. And that wax is definitely not going to be enough for this size. It is... Oh, there's two. I'm sorry. I, I lied. Okay, so it comes with two boats, wax, and even a 
four placer, I think that is, and a bigger thing of wax. I was going to say, you're going to need much more wax than that. So let's see if we can get it unwound. Hang on, I got to get back. Let me roll it because it's the only way it's going to lay down. There we go. Maybe a light flatter now. But it's a beautiful peach colored flower. Let me see if you can, I can get you up any higher. So let me just move it. But isn't that pretty with all those swirls and stuff in it? I'm going to put a picture here. Okay. That way you get the whole thing. But isn't that a beautiful peach colored flower? It's like a rose. But I do like the swirls and everything. It keeps it all interesting. You got another peach flower down here. Just gorgeous. Now this has... Like I said, it's a 60 by 50, so it's a little wide. It has 24 colors. Very sticky. I won't be able to move the, the paper up, but I will move this. Very nice drill field. Come on, focus. Come on. There we go. Very nice, very clear. There's not a lot of dark parts, and where it is dark, the letters, this is all letters and numbers, um, it's printed in white. So it's still very easy to, to read. You really wouldn't need a, uh, a light pad with this, but I just thought it was a nice piece of artwork. So that's why I got it. I thought it was gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm not going to bother, uh, what do you call it, <sighs> measuring it. Oh, seriously, folks. It's a little manhandly. Oh, hang on. I was trying to roll it up. It'll lay flat once I uh, straighten this out. I don't think it will. Very rarely do I have to iron any. Because the, the glue is poured glue, so it lays just fine. It's got more wrinkles on the back than it ever shows on the front. But lots of beautiful, beautiful colors, which I am not going to take out of there because I'll never get them back in there. But you got browns and magenta and black, of course. But not too much. I mean, there's only one bag of it. That's a plus. But look at that yellow. Mm. So, and the peach colors. There's a peach. And then you've got greens and browns. So it's more kind of a autumn-y thing. But that, that peach flower is your center part. So, like it. Now, that was... $13.99 for a 60 by 50 round drill. And I'm not going to buy too many square drills if I can help it. Kind of sometimes, but, you know, it just depends how I feel about it. I got my Tiger only because I couldn't get it in a round like that. So, very rarely do I buy square drills. So, let's look at the cross stitch. Let me get it out of here. Because you know we have to have some of those. Put the bag up there. And this is a piece of paper. How weird. It is a, 40, a 35 by 45. And you've got like a... Come on. A beach scene. Like beach... Not beach. Waves back here. And then you got a fence going along. And you got some pretty flowers... I hope it's not that pixelated. I just don't know. You might have to do a little back stitching here and there if you want. 
to make it come out. But yeah, now this was $4.99. So it was not that expensive. You do have a full page of instructions. It's on a very thin piece of paper. So it's not too expensive of a kit. So who knows? But it's nice and big instructions if you need them. And it has a nice glossy black back uh, background, you know, paper pattern. Now we're going to look and check out the colors. But lots of pinks and blues and greens. A little bit of an orangish red. There's 18 colors in this. So let's take a look at the colors, if I could get them unfolded. Very pretty looking colors. Very, very pretty. So you got two things of 310 black right there. Look at all the greens. And you got blue flowers and pink flowers and orange flowers. A little bit more blue for the sky. I'm assuming that two of these colors are going to be your sky. And one's going to be the, the flowers down here. There's blue flowers back here and pink. Then orangish and darker orange. And then two shades of blue in your flowers as well. But I just thought it was a cute picture. Now I want to take, hang on, I'm going to put that over there just so it doesn't, and we're going to look at the uh, very nice canvas. It's nice and soft. It is not um, surged. It does come with two needles down here. I want to match this. So this paper pattern matches your canvas which is nice, but this picture is a little bit small. You might have to blow it up a bit, but yeah, for not too many colors. I like that. I'm going to put this little picture up here just so it doesn't get lost. I like to put them on the outside, then I know what the kit is, you know, in case I fold the, the pattern up, but yeah. So it looks like nice rivers of color. You know, there's a little tiny bit of confetti here. And maybe a little bit of confetti down here in this corner. But not too much. Let's measure it. And it wasn't too big of a picture. It's 48 or 19 inches by 37 or 14 and a half actual picture size is dang near mm, 16 and a quarter or 41 do that again I forgot yeah or 41 centimeters and this way it is about 12 inches or 30 and a half centimeters but yeah this is kind of a nice little pattern for somebody that doesn't want a lot of confetti this would be your your thing you're only going to have to have a little confetti here and a little tiny bit in here there must be greenery or something but the rest of it is little pools of color so that's why i said i i hope it's not too pixelated but yeah i thought it was kind of a cute product for what did i say this was for five dollars you know you get a decent sized picture and beautiful threads just gorgeous 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 now paint some way has cross stitch diamond painting paint by number and custom i don't know what they do their custom on you know whether it's just diamond painting or cross stitch or or if they do it on all three they have free shipping on orders over 49 dollars they do have crafts and tools for diamond painting and cross stitch. And I'm not sure about the craft part of the paint by number. and But they sometimes have a few tools for that too. Uh, let's see. They do have a separate joy Sunday section. 
They have stamped and counted cross stitch, beaded cross stitch, and just like the small pictures and the keychain things in beaded cross stitch. And let's see, anything else? And this time of year, they should be having their Christmas specials come out. So look for that as well. Thank you, Paint Some Way, for sending me these beautiful, beautiful kits. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.